Hey guys and welcome to an in-between episode of Behind the Closed Doors. Today it's not a workshop, but it's something else. Now, one of the things you always have to do as a photographer is of course retouch your images because you don't want to give anybody images that aren't retouched, right? And of course we all start out with a mouse and although it works, it doesn't really work. So as soon as you come into contact with a tablet, that's when everything changes. Everything just falls into place. Over the years I've tried many, many different tablets and always came back to the same. Today we're going to try a different brand and let's see what happens. Yeah, and a storm took out one of our banners, so we're going to replace that very soon, of course. And trust me, when we, when we designed this banner, we didn't realize that workshops live and online, especially the online part, became so incredibly important this year. Yes, that was GLS, and what did they bring? Let me take a look. There we go, from our friends from the Geven Partner. And here we have the tablets. So let's open up the box and see what's inside. Okay, Anna Week, would you do the honors please and open up the box? Is it heavy? Yeah. This is the 24 inch Artist Pro. So this is the one that's going to be in our studio, but we have another one. And we can you find it because it's a really small one. Don't disappear in the box. Did you find it? Yes, there we go. And this is actually the 12 inch. And believe it or not, price wise, this is a no brainer. But I'm very curious to see how it works. So I can't wait. What do you think, Anna Week? Does it look nice? Looks nice. Awesome, right? Okay, let's open up the small one. Now, in all honesty, I'm not really an unboxing kind of guy, you know? You want to hear the stuff, right? You don't want to see what's in the box, or do you? Let's do it very fast. Okay, so far nothing interesting yet. Ah, there we go. That looks way better. Okay, there we have the 12 inch. Okay, looks really nice. Now, in all honesty, I know some of you guys are wondering, like, Frank, why do you do an unboxing? You never do it. The reason is, I already saw on the internet what's actually in the box. And this is the part that gets me really, really excited, especially at this price point, because the 12 inch is it's really not that expensive. But look what's in the box that normally you have to buy separately, if you can get it. Look at this. There you have the stand. And it's a nice stand. It's plastic as it seems, but it feels good. So let's see how it looks with the tablet on. Okay. Oh, that feels really nice. I was afraid it was a little bit flimsy, but dude, really, this is nice, really good. Now for an enclosed stand, you don't expect, of course, a lot of extra features and well, it is a really cool stand. There's only one thing it can only, as far as I can see now, support one angle. But that's not really a problem. If that's the angle that works nicely, and as I can see here, it does, I'm fine with that. No problem at all. It's delivered in the box, right? If you want something better, go and get it. But at least you have a stand for free in the box. And operation of the stand is really <laughs> simple. You just click it in and you just open it up. It clicks into position and well, that's the angle you work on. And again, let me put a tablet on for reference. This is actually the angle that looks very comfortable for me. So awesome. Let's see what's more in the box. Of course, a lot of different power connectors, not only one, but wherever you travel, <laughs> there's one in here, it seems. Uh, it seems like the manual and the pen. I'm really curious about this one, how it feels. 
And also with unboxing, another surprise. I didn't expect this. I could have known if I watched more videos online probably, but look at this. You don't just get the pen, you also get a lot of extra nibs. Eight to be exactly. <laughs> That's cool. But let's be honest, you can give me 12 tips. If the pen isn't right, the pen isn't right. So let's take a look at the pen. Because this is, of course, the thing that you constantly work with. And this is the first time ever I'm holding a pen from XP. And it looks familiar. And in all honesty, it feels very, very familiar. And that's a really good thing. You don't have a digital eraser, but everything else... Yep. Nice. Now let me make one thing very, very clear. Over the years I've used many different tablets, as I said in the start of the video, and they never ever convince me. Sometimes you feel like you're painting with a Sharpie instead of a nice pencil, or you have a really tiny pencil and you need batteries, and sometimes the tip doesn't feel right, or there's a parallax error on it, or it doesn't tilt right, or driver problems there's always something the reason i actually well was in for this test was everywhere i read online it was always like xp pen that's the brand to go for if you want something that's affordable but you don't want to sacrifice any quality it's even better than the big brands yeah well that is a part that i have to find out over the coming weeks but what i see up until now for this price point is it's insane, literally. This is not something you expect for a display, a pen, all the power connectors, and I still have the feeling there's more. So let's take out this and this part and let's see what's inside of there. And hey, look at this. Also a nice cleaning cloth for the tablet. Nice. Okay. Ah, these are the cables. Of course, you need to connect the tablet, right? So we have... A USB-C, which is always welcome, of course, nowadays. And let's actually connect. Ah, there we go. Okay, this is an HDMI connector. And we have a USB, a red USB, and USB-C. Now, I think that the USB-C will go into the tablet. The HDMI, of course, will connect to the HDMI out port of your laptop or your desktop because remember this is not a computer this is a display so it always needs your HDMI now of course it also needs a USB for power but also well to function right it has to function uh, you, your touch has to be transmitted your brush strokes and your pen everything has to be transmitted and that's of course through USB and of course the USB-C is of course to drive the tablet Ah, that's really, this is one of the things that I love about companies. A little note that reads, Dear customer, thank you for choosing XP Pen Tellers to help you create your masterpieces. We hope they serve you well. If you have any questions, comments or concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out. Drawing different. Yeah, those are the small things that I really appreciate about a product. And there we have a warranty card. Okay. And download drivers very important because nowadays of course they don't deliver any cd-roms or whatever do you still have a cd-rom drive leave comments below if you do unless you're of course not ready on the internet when you do i'm just kidding okay let's connect the right power adapter for us europeans and you just slide it in that's it okay first impression very good uh, figured out how everything works together in a few seconds without using the manual that's always a good thing it's your power connector you have a little bit of an extension for your USB then you have of course the USB-C cable goes into the tablet you have one USB cable that goes into your computer and you have your HDMI out that also goes into your computer pretty straightforward let's install the drivers and let's see if this party is as positive as it is up to until now because normally when you start installing drivers and you start using it that's where you see the quality difference but i have high hopes just for comparison my laptop and dell xps 
and the XP pen. So when I take it off, this will fit very, very nicely in my backpack because they're actually oh, about the same size. That's nice. Okay, let's start installing the drivers. I love it when they deliver something like this. Yep. Yeah, finding the drives is really easy. Just go to the artist and then just go to Mac software or Windows. So in this case, let's go for Windows. We have a beta driver and official. Hmm. Let's just do beta. Why not? Another thing that's really important for me is I always look at the date of the drivers. And I did this actually before I started this whole project. And it's very important that if you see a product that has drivers from, let's say, 2019, especially in a Windows environment, that's not a good sign. And in this case, I actually saw that the drivers were, let me just check for sure, November 30th. And it's today, December 1st. And the old drivers, so the stable drivers, the non-beta, are actually from August 11th. And that's fine. That's fine fine there's not a big update that can screw up the driver so i'm fine with that but as soon as you see something like half a year ago or a year ago uh, that's not really good on the other end these tablets aren't on the market that long yet but that is something to check if you are in the market for a new tablet check those drivers and it goes for any piece of hardware or software if it's not updated regularly you will regret it because one day Windows or your Mac will update and you can't use your tablet or any other device and that can be a disaster so check that. Now before installing drivers always make sure that you remove old drivers from for example another tablet. So that's what I just did. So now I restarted Windows and I'm going to install the drivers from the XP Pen. If you have other drivers on board it might be that you don't have any problems at all but it might be that there's just this little bit of incompatibility so just Take them off. And there we go. Now, most of the time I install the drives before I connect the hardware. This is also often mentioned in the manual, but in all honesty, when I do a review or when I get something new, I always first try it out without reading the manual. Some guys shouldn't, and maybe in some cases I would also be more smarter when I read the manual but I think a product especially nowadays should just install itself and be very easy to use as soon as you need the manual this is actually where well, or it's very complicated of course but for a tablet like this you shouldn't need the manual at all and up until now I'm fine without and so is the computer complete so let's press complete okay. let's connect everything Okay, the computer asks, connect the device. So, well, if the computer asks it, it probably is time. Okay, power is connected. Let's put in the HDMI. And, of course, the USB. So, let's put it nicely next to each other. There we go. Okay, right after connecting we get this image and this is actually interesting. I didn't turn the tablet on yet and look at this. When I now use the tablet, it actually moves the mouse over there. So it functions as it seems like a tablet that doesn't use any display. So like an old fashioned without display. It's not old fashioned of course, but like a normal drawing tablet where you don't have a display. So let's see what happens if I turn it on. Okay, on the side there's the power button. Let's turn it on and let's see what happens. Okay, I get another beep of confirmation and now I actually have two displays. It's now mirrored. Okay, and this is of course how it's supposed to be running. Nice. And I was a little bit afraid that everything would be too small, but overall it looks razor sharp. So this is actually the screen you're looking at and when I zoom in, it looks pretty good. To give you a reference point, this is my hand. And this is the laptop. So, of course, this is bigger because it's a 15.6 inch. This is 100% workable. Really nice. And my laptop actually is now outputting 4K. And the display is only 1080p. But it scales everything very, very nicely. Now, you may 
know or not notice, of course, when you use a drawing tablet, in most cases, you will mirror your screen. Now, in this case, I have my screen set up on 4K, and the scaling goes really well because I don't want to lose any real estate of Photoshop. Now, if you run Photoshop on a 1080p display, you know, everything can be a little bit too big, right? There's not enough room for your image. So this is actually a solution that I love. But there's another option, and a lot of people don't realize this. It's just a display. So you can also, of course, set it up for a second display. Now watch this. So when you go into your settings for your display, just go instead of duplicate these displays. And I'm sorry, I'm not using screen recording at the moment, but just use extend these displays. Keep changes. And now what you will see is that I have two displays. Display one, which is my 4K and display 2, which is actually uh, the XP pen, and now it resets to 1920 by 1080. But the nice thing is that now you have two different screens. So why is this handy? First of all, it's really, really handy if you don't trust the color accuracy of your tablet. What I normally do in the studio, I have a Big BenQ monitor, which I know is Adobe RGB compatible, it's calibrated, it's just an awesome monitor. And I always use that as my reference point. So I'm retouching in Photoshop and I'm using that BenQ monitor as my reference point. Because both run on a different resolution and in my old uh, situation I wasn't able to use 4K on the tablet. And now I am. But in the old situation, I couldn't mirror my screens. So I always used Navigator on Photoshop really large to see all the colors. And I would retouch on the tablet. So that's one option. Another option is, of course, you just have a second monitor, right? So when you do something, for example, music recording, it's always nice to have a second monitor. And let's be honest, it's small enough to just fit somewhere. And it gives you a lot more real estate. And of course, when you want to retouch on it, you just switch it over to mirroring or a navigator. So it's very, very handy that you can use it in both mirror and extend. But that's, by the way, normal for tablets, but a lot of people don't realize this. So extra monitor. Yes, you can, including retouch tablet. Now, another thing that's really important when you retouch is, of course, your shortcuts. For example, sample, alt, control, space, whatever you want to use, X to change over. You want to change your brush size. Why should you use a tablet if you still need to use your computer, right, or keyboard? Well, you need shortcut keys for that. And, well, we know, of course, that tablets have shortcut keys because otherwise, well, it's really useless tablets. But in this case, we actually, for a 12 inch, we have quite a few. Let's take a look. So we actually have one, two, three, four, a dial, and one, two, three, four, which of course you can program in the computer. So that's more than enough, <laughs> even for retouching more <laughs> difficult stuff, at least for me. Some people still need like a gazillion keys. My workflow is a little bit more simple. If you still need a gazillion keys, just use a keyboard. That's no problem, right? Okay, my first impressions. Well, for this price point, it's insane. You get the pen, you get extra nibs, you get the stand, you get all the cables, including power, of course, and, well, driver installation is easy. Everything works. We have more than enough shortcut keys. We have the roller. Uh, you can use it as a second display. It looks pretty nice. It gives out more than enough light for an inside situation. Outside, of course, you always need more. And it all just feels very, very familiar and very, very good. And that's a good thing again. So I will update you guys regularly on using both the 24 inch, of course, and the 12. But for now, I'm signing off. This was more like an unboxing and my first opinion. As soon as I know more, I will let you guys know. But from now on, everything you will see online, we are actually doing with the XP pen. So digital classroom and also the live streams, all the retouching stuff will now be done or of course on the iPad Pro or on the XP pen. So keep an eye out. And if you have any questions or you want me to test stuff, leave them in the comments below. And in the next video or live stream, I will answer your questions. Thank you for watching. If you like what we do, subscribe to our channel, leave comments below, and of course smash that like button because we really like that. See you again next time. Bye guys.